The long lost photos that she collected as she wrote and revised her diaries gives us the final answer that she really intended to publish her work and also that she was such a visual person. She saw those faces as she was writing, the faces she collected, and she loved to describe faces. She was fascinated with people's eyes and faces. So the two coming together at long last allows us to see what she saw. We're celebrating the uh, reception of a wonderful gift thanks to Marty Daniels and the Daniels family of Mulberry Plantation, Camden, South Carolina. This occasion marks the reunification of the American Civil War diary of Mary Boykin Chestnut, one of the South's and the nation's greatest literary figures of the 19th century, and an album of Civil War photographs that Mrs. Chestnut kept during the war. Mary Boykin Chestnut was my great-grandmother's sister, Kate. Mary Chestnut began a diary in 1861 in Charleston, just before Fort Sumter, when her husband rode across the harbor to obtain the surrender from Major Anderson on the fort. And she kept that diary right up until the very end of her world, which she said was kicked to pieces as a result of this war. Her husband had been a U.S. Senator and then he resigned his Senate position and took a, a position as an aide to the President of the Confederacy. So she had a ringside seat on everything that happened for those terrible five years. And she was brilliantly educated and she wrote about it all. And 20 years after her death, it was published in 1905. And as a matter of fact, it was probably in every household in the South. And it was published again in 1949, and it was published again in a much larger edition through research at this library here at the Caroliniana, and it won a Pulitzer Prize at that time. So she's been known as one of the primary source materials of information about the Civil War. But even more importantly today, she's becoming known as one of the great literary figures of her century. Many of the faces have never been seen before. They've been lost in time. These little cartes de visite have traveled all over the country. And some pictures are being seen for the very first time. Also, for Carolinians, I think it shows them that her vision of the great tragedy that happened in her time was a world tragedy. Uh, it's not just pictures of Carolinians but of North and South, white and black, Europe and America. She saw this as a great tragedy of the 19th century. This library, the Caroliniana, is the repository of South Carolina's history, and it was here in Mary Chestnut's day. She probably walked right through these doors. And I'm just sure that in trunks and shoe boxes, in attics, there are pieces of our common story and as people think about what to do with their treasures of letters, this is a place where they can be conserved and preserved.